Hello everybody, this is Hazel the Basement Dweller here, and welcome back to Skullgirl Second Encore Season 1. Now, um, it's been a little bit since we posted. I've been posting a lot of um, Skullgirls related content. There's actually a big Skullgirls related project in the works. That should be coming out either uh, later tonight or tomorrow. So keep an eye out for that. If you guys are fans of the lore series, keep an eye keep an eye peeled. There might be something coming your way. Um, but today we're going to be talking about the October 4th beta mode update, um, which many people were very excited for, including myself. I didn't cover it immediately. Also, this is like my color palette. I really like this color palette with umbrella. So this is this is the one for me. But yeah, so update. First major thing, I actually picked the wrong character to go against them. So, they... When I titled the last video, they gave Umbrella an Aegis Reflector. I wasn't lying. This is intended to be an Aegis Reflector, as in, you know, nasty mix-ups and projectile reflection. Uh, which they talked about. But the first things I want to cover, uh, Umbrella has two new moves this patch. This move... Uh... I did it once, and then I was never able to do it again. How do I... Oh, with the charge. Okay. So she has two new special moves. She has Slurp and Slide. Which, does this, does this build hunger? It does not. Uh, does it have another Ender? Hold on. I'm so, I haven't checked on this. You know, this is my first time uh, looking at it. Oh, but it probably changes depending on your hunger level. Yep. So it's a knockdown on Ravenous. It doesn't work if uh, Hunger is starving, which is actually interesting to note. So it's a hit on um, it's a hit on Fed knockdown sliding knockdown on Ravenous doesn't work if you're hungry. What about Well Fed? It's a knockback, which uh, I believe. Yep, I was gonna say you could definitely corner convert off that. Very cool. So she got another uh, new special move as well, the bobble and bubble, which I believe is just a projectile. Boom. Oh. So it goes a set distance. It appears. Oh, you can hit it. Oh, uh, she's like Falk from uh, Street Fighter. So you can do like shit like this. Yeah. Oh yeah, and they also so it, it makes a puddle too. It doesn't work if you're hungry. Noticing a theme uh, with that. Being hungry is not it. So that has an interaction. Yep, that. We knew that uh, move had an interaction. It looked like her medium kick had an interaction. Uh, it doesn't look like any of her other normals uh, interact with it. So for now, it looks like it's just medium kick. Okay, so she got those two new... Um, those two new things. Those are, those are her two, like, new mechanics, or new moves. The bobble and bubble, and the slide. Which, neither of which work if you don't have hunger. So the slide and the bubble. Both medium ooh, both medium punch inputs, interestingly. Um It's kinda weird that they're both medium punch punch, because that means there's no alternate input for them. Um but the next thing I wanted to show, because it was the only other like major thing this update, unless you count like sound design changes is major, uh, in which case there was a Beowulf change. Um, 
which I might showcase for funsies, but... As I said, they... When I called this move an Aegis Reflector, I meant it as in it is an Aegis Reflector in the sense of nasty mix-ups, and it is also an Aegis Reflector in the sense that it is a true Reflector. Uh... Oh, it's because she got side swapped. Hold up. Let's, uh... Meow. It is now a true Reflector. Uh, at least, for now, it's only against Peacock. She is the only character with a, uh, programmed... She's the only character with a programmed, um... Uh, reflection. But I believe it works for her entire kit. So it also works for her super. Which is actually pretty interesting. Yes, that's actually very cool. Um, and I believe that's all the changes she got. So her Aegis Reflector, at least against Peacock right now, is a true Reflector. I also learned that you can do that since the last time, because I was talking about the Shumagorath eyes. They also changed the color of her uh, incomplete animations, which I think is pretty interesting. Now they're uh, white instead of... Uh, blue but her animations are getting more finished which is pretty neat um you can kara cancel this and you can ult cancel it on hit which is kind of cool she still doesn't have another super um but that's all the changes for her the only other change uh at least the only other change that i can really show because i'm not a pain wheel guy but pain, pain wheel got some some unfly changes there we go, I was gonna say. Uh, it doesn't matter who we pick. They also gave, uh, I guess I should have shown that here. They also gave Umbrella a banner on the NMO Arena, which I think it should show in the background. They gave her a new banner. Ah, well, it's her old one, but. So, the change with Beowulf um, is. A solely sound design change, uh, if you're somebody who cares. Oh, come on. Oh, why did it take so long? It's a DP assist, it doesn't work. Get out of here. There was a change to... Oh, come on. Okay, it's very hard to show because I, uh, I stink. Alright, we can show it with the, the DP assist. I don't, I don't know the Beowulf fucking, the, the loop. When you, when you don't have, uh... I don't what I don't know Beowulf's loop, but the crowd screams louder. That's the change. I stink. Don't worry about it. And that's it. That's everything for the uh, October fourth build of Skullgirls. Pain Wheel got some uh, changes that I am not in the capacity to talk about. Um, Beowulf got sound design changes, and Umbrella got two new special moves. Her super works differently, and a few new interactions with her bubbles and puddles, uh, which is very cool. Umbrella's coming along very nicely. I'm very excited to see her changes. Um, and that's pretty much it for this update. Uh, looks pretty promising. I like it. Um, but yeah, if you guys are excited about the Skullgirls lore series, uh, a video in that vein will be coming out either tonight or tomorrow. And uh, I think you guys are going to like it. 
So keep an eye out for that if you're excited. Um, say something in the comments. If you like what you saw, remember to like, comment, subscribe, dislike it if you dislike it. This was me, as of the Basement Dweller, showing you guys the October 4th build of Skullgirls. Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye.